It starts out with the bacon. So I've got peppered bacon, center cut. To, for easy cleaning, I put a little piece of foil on the bottom of the pan so you can just pull it out and throw it away. Then you're gonna coat the top with a mixture of a little real maple syrup and brown sugar. Light or dark brown, whatever you have in the pantry. So you've got the peppered bacon with the sweet glaze of the sugar and maple. Now I press this down literally with your fingertips into each slice of the bacon. For each brunch burger, you need at least two slices. My husband likes three. You know you're gonna cheat and steal two before you ever make a sandwich, so make extra. So then you put them in the oven at 375, and normally bacon will be nice and crisp within 15 to 18 minutes. In this case, you're glazing them, so they need a little longer. They'll be in there 25 to 30 minutes, so just keep an eye. Set your timer and keep an eye. Because of that sugar, they will burn really quick when they get crisp. So bacon, done. Now for the burgers themselves. We're going to toast up some sandwich-sized English muffins instead of hamburger rolls. We're gonna put our maple bacon on there. And the burgers themselves are made out of a mixture of ground pork and ground beef. Now you can make any mixture you like. You could do all ground turkey if you want it to be a little more figure friendly. My husband loves ground pork, but I wanted it to give a wink and a nudge to a burger burger, so I mixed it up with a little bit of ground sirloin. So to your half and half mixture of um, pork and beef, I'm gonna season it up. It's gonna taste like a breakfast sausage. One teaspoon fennel seed, one teaspoon granulated onion, one teaspoon granulated garlic, one teaspoon ground sage, and a little cayenne pepper, or a little crushed red pepper flake for heat. Salt, over the shoulder for luck, and black pepper. Get your cast iron skillet or your griddle pan screaming hot, rub it down with a little bit of canola or olive oil, mix your patties, and always form patties thinner at the center and thicker at the edges. Before you form the patties, score the meat, put it in an even pile, and score the meat. I'm making four patties here, so I'm scoring it across, so that as you pull the meat, you end up with the same portion each time. You won't end up... Because you know what happens. You mix up the burgers, you start to form the patties, you have three big, beautiful burgers. You get to the fourth one, it's the size of a meatball. You gotta make Franken-burgers and rip the meat off all the other burgers and cobble that last one together. This way, you know, you end up with four even burgers. I'm gonna get the burgers going. When we come back, we'll talk about the sauce for the bun. I have just stirred a couple of heaping tablespoonfuls of grainy mustard into softened butter with real maple syrup. And now we're gonna butter, I know! Right? And now you're gonna slather that down over your English muffins. We already have our maple glazed bacon out of the oven and in the pan, our own homemade breakfast burger patties. Okay, now we've got those guys buttered up. Let's give these a flip. Now when I think breakfast, oh, look at the color on those. Great, beautiful. When I think breakfast, I also think eggs. So the final component, oh, other than the sharp cheddar cheese going on our burgers. I know, it's ridiculous, but whatever. It's a holiday. Um, so the final component, other than the cheese on our homemade sausage burgers, is an over easy egg. So when you bite into it, it oozes down, oh my God. Now, when it comes to making perfect eggs over easy, the trick is not to get the pan too hot and not to rush the egg. You don't want to brown at the edges and all soggy around the whites. So cook it low and slow in a nonstick skillet with a dab of butter. Drop it in and just let it work nice and gently. I'm gonna let the egg cook. I'll meet you right back here in a couple. Come on, I want you to look. So you don't rush the egg, you cook it low and slow. And then if you are lousy at flipping eggs, get two spatulas in there. Do whatever it takes to get that egg to flip over for you. Give me the old two spatula method. All right, are you ready for the brunch burger to be built, people? Here we go. The maple mustard buttered, perfectly toasted because I didn't toast them, sandwich size English muffin. Our own homemade burger patties that taste like breakfast sausage, thank you very much. I know! <laughs> and then the maple bacon. 
glazed, crispy, so crispy I can knock the counter with it. Ridiculous. Okay, maybe you need to run an extra four miles after you eat this because of the cholesterol, but it is worth it. And then your beautiful little egg over easy. Come on. And then, and then right before you eat it, you pop that down on top and you give it a little squish, it gets all gooey. Oh.